Hi, and welcome back to my channel where we go beyond the buzzword, beyond the basics, and beyond the BS to really help you master marketing agility. Today, we are getting not all the way back to basics, but closer to basics than maybe we usually uh, are on this channel because there are some very problematic misunderstandings that I encounter time and time again when I speak with marketers who are already practicing Agile. Some core terms that are being misused and misunderstood. And this is an issue because it prevents us from being able to communicate effectively with one another inside of an Agile team and with other Agile practitioners. So if you're trying to communicate with an Agile product development team or an Agile IT team, software development team, you need to be able to use words the right way so they know what you're talking about and we can intersect and work together in the best way possible. So today we're going to differentiate some commonly confused words. Scrum, sprint, Kanban, board. Three things that get thrown around willy-nilly, often in the wrong way. So we're going to go into each of those individually so we can make sure that we are uh, presenting our best selves in conversations with one another and other Agile practitioners. Before we differentiate these three key terms, however, I need to ask a small favor of you. Please subscribe to this channel and like this video if you like this video. If this topic is something that you find interesting and helpful, please let me know and I will make more videos like it. If you're not a fan, shoot me a comment or an email and we'll make fewer videos like this. This is an iterative process, very much want to get input from real Agile marketers and find out what's resonating and what's being impactful for you. All right, with that out of the way, let's talk about these three key terms. First up, Scrum. Scrum is an Agile framework, right? It's the big overarching way that a team can handle their workload. Right, so Scrum is a big umbrella, okay, under which many other things fall. But Scrum is the framework. Inside of Scrum, we have things like daily stand-up meetings, retrospectives, sprint planning, etc. We have Scrum Masters, we have product owners, or maybe we call them marketing owners because we don't build a product. We have team members. All that inside of Scrum, okay? Sometimes the daily stand-up meeting gets called a daily Scrum, which is a legitimate use of the word, but can be confusing. Uh, it's called this because Scrum, the name of the framework, is taken from the rugby Scrum, where the whole team like smooshes together to try to push the ball down the field. So that's the idea behind the Scrum framework, is the team bands together to push things forward and get things done quickly. The daily scrum then is the 15 minute meeting or daily stand up as it's sometimes called when the team gets together and tries to push the ball or the work forward a little bit, right? So it happens every day we're moving forward incrementally uh, until the end of the sprint, right? So there's the second term that we're trying to differentiate today is the sprint. Now a sprint is a small time box of focused effort that happens inside of the Scrum framework, okay? If you're using Scrum, you will participate in a series of recurring sprints, not Scrums, okay? Scrum is made up of sprints, right? So we don't say, I'm inside a Scrum right now. We're inside a sprint right now because we are using the Scrum framework, right? The sprint is a small time box, usually a couple of weeks. Two weeks is the average. You might be going as long as three or four weeks or as short as one, but you're probably somewhere in the two to three week range. That's the time when the team says, here's our subset of potential work that we're gonna focus on for the next few weeks. We're not doing anything else. That's our sprint and it will last a few weeks. When it ends, when that time box is over, the sprint is over, and the next one will begin almost immediately, 
right? So sprint one might end on a Friday, sprint two starts Monday, right? So they happen one after the other back to back. That series of recurring activities makes up the Scrum framework. Okay, Scrum has sprints inside of it. Sometimes within a sprint, you might have a daily scrum, but we can just call it daily stand-up to eliminate confusion, right? So we go scrum, sprint, daily stand-up, right? Big, medium, small. Okay. We'll call that done. If you have more questions, that's what comments are for, right? All right. Next term that we need to differentiate is a Kanban board versus the Kanban framework. So again, Kanban Agile framework, big thing, big idea, uh, way that a team manages their work holistically all the time. Lots of components of Kanban, right? We have our visualized board, also known as a Kanban board. It should have some WIP limits or work in progress limits on it. The team should have explicit policies. They should commit to continuous improvement and they should have independent cadences for their Agile meetings like retrospectives, like backlog refinement, like planning, etc. Okay, those meetings that we were talking about in Scrum are likely to also happen in Kanban, just at whatever cadence the team feels is valuable. I will link to some basic descriptions of Scrum and Kanban with this video. So if you're not familiar with the foundational ideas behind both of these frameworks, you can research them. But for now, what we're talking about is the Kanban framework, again, big thing, inside of it, we have a Kanban board. In fact, almost every Agile team, whether they're Scrum or Kanban or a hybrid of their own invention, has a Kanban board because we need some way to see what we are doing. This visualized workflow is your Kanban board, right? It shows work that is not started, work that's active, and work that's done and it's extremely useful and essential for the team to see that and people outside of the team to see that. We've got a nice video about how to set up a Kanban board if you need more, I'll link to that as well. But the Kanban board is just, again, a little part of the larger Agile system that a team should be running. Scrum team probably has one, Kanban team probably has one. But just because you've got a nice Kanban board does not mean you are a Kanban team. There's more to it than that. Whip limits, explicit policies, all of these other components go into the Kanban framework or Kanban. You can say it however you want, right? We're agile. We can be flexible about these things. I say Kanban. I hear people say Kanban, whatever you want to do, right? But the important thing is to understand the difference between the board and the framework. Okay. Three terms. I think we've, we've disentangled these, right? So we have Scrum includes sprints, might also include visualized workflow on a Kanban board, but these are very distinct and different components of a high functioning Agile system. Okay, if you have more questions, if we didn't clear that up for you, please shoot me an email or a comment and I'll get back to you and we can dig into this a little further. But for the sake of your rep, as an Agile marketing practitioner, use the terms the right way. It's gonna help you communicate more effectively and get along better with other Agile teams inside of your organization. Thanks so much for joining. We'll be back next week with another video to help you master marketing agility.